Sophia, what is today? Good day. You get one shot and you pass. <laughs>
original Broadway set, as Corey let us know earlier. <laughs> Little tidbit. Fun um, fact. Fun fact, sorry. Fun fact. There will be some time in the casino. Casino time? There has to is be. Is it the comedian show tonight, or is that... No, there is okay. just cats. Okay, just cats, and then we'll chill. Cats and chill. What did you get for dinner? <laughs> uh, spaghetti bolognese, and then a few different appetizers. How about you, Sophia? What'd you get? Caesar salad. Fried chicken. Oh, that sounds good. How about you, Bill? I got the Caesar salad and the uh, pan-fried fish. Oh, the mystery fish. The white, white fish. The white fish. White flaky fish. Anybody <laughs> guess? You'll have to. You'll have to guess and tell us what it is. So one one note about uh, Royal Caribbean. These beautiful rolls, cheese rolls, are where it's at. So they're kind of like the best rolls you'll ever eat on any ship. So ask specifically for the cheese rolls and some butter. And that's going to wrap it up for now. We'll check back with you all in just a little bit. Welcome back everybody. So last night I had dinner in the main dining room. It was a pretty good dinner. Um, nothing to write home about, but pretty good. For the appetizers, I had the escargot and um, Caesar salad. The Caesar dressing was kind of weak. Um, didn't have a whole lot of flavor, but it was all right. Escargot was good, very garlicky, which was nice. Just wasn't very hot in temperature. Um, just a little disappointing on that. And the entrees, I had the um, I had the prime rib and the spaghetti bolognese. And the spaghetti was very good. The prime rib was just okay. It wasn't very tender, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's the one thing that I find on Royal Caribbean is just everything is so inconsistent. And it's a little disappointing because you'll get really good on one ship one day. You'll get not so good on another ship another day or even the same ship another day will not be the same and that's not great <laughs> one thing that is consistent though is the entertainment quality on Royal Caribbean last night we saw cats amazing really good um, really big production great talent um, the singers and dancers just really really excellent the one thing that wasn't so excellent is the obnoxious disrespectful people that walk in halfway into the show and don't sit in the back they just make their way to the front or the other disrespect disrespectful people that get up and walk out in the middle of a show know what you're getting into before you go and see it if it's not your cup of tea don't go and see it that's all i have to say about that it's just disrespectful to the performers to get up and come in or get out whatever in the middle of a show anyway enough ranting about that had some fun in the casino last night um, did fairly well la familia is uh here in nasa on the beach they went to uh take a taxi to go over to the beach i'm not a big beach fan so i kind of just stayed on board for now and then we'll probably meet up for lunch in a little while went to johnny rockets this morning for breakfast and it was pretty good i had a bacon egg and lettuce and cheese and tomato sandwich and uh, shared some French toast with my sister, but it was, it was good. Um, beautiful day here, as you can see. Just some clouds in the sky, probably about 78 degrees. And uh, just played some musical trivia while I'm waiting to disembark and go have some lunch. And I'm sporting my University of Shiz shirt that my sister got me um, in hopes to bring me luck at this musical trivia. And it did because I won. Out of about 20 people that were there, um, I won by, I think, one. Some of the questions were tricky and hard, and you can take a look at some of them right here. In Wicked, the musical, what is the name of the Wicked Witch of the East? What is the name of the Rydell's High sports team? In the story, in the story, Beauty and the Beast, what is the name of the people that be friends of Belle? I'm not quite sure on this one. Just kidding. Would you have gotten all of those correct? I, I didn't. I actually got six wrong. Two that I should not have if I had read the question better. But yeah, it, it was fun. Um, not sure what's on the agenda for this evening. Uh, actually, no, we are going to Aqua 80 this evening, which is the Aqua show on board here, the Oasis of the Seas. And it is a fantastic show. I probably think it's the best aqua show on the Oasis fleet. I've seen it on Harmony and Symphony, and I think Oa or, um, I think the one on Oasis Aqua 80 was just a little bit better than those. Um, they're all really actually pretty much the same, but 
anyway um but stick around and i'll bring you guys along for the fun if you guys enjoy what you're watching please be sure to hit that like button down below and if you want to see more of this content hit that subscribe button right down there as well and that'll uh let you know every time that uh, i put out some new content i'll have a new vlog out from this new oasis series probably once a week um, and then uh, some upcoming cruises to get excited for in the near future as well. So I'll check back with y'all in just a little bit. Welcome back everybody. We are here at the Athena Cafe in downtown Nassau. And uh, look what happened to mine. Hi. <laughs> okay. The beach was gorgeous. Turquoise water. Very windy, but very nice temperatures. Huge waves. A little scary. You couldn't go in the water. So what did you have for dinner? Um, last like night, dinner? my dinner was excellent. It was really good. Best cruise food I can remember in a while. Wow. Yep. Yep. The spaghetti bolognese was fantastic. I would say 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Um, ship horns, there's 5 is the best. 4.5. For your overall meal. Overall meal, dessert's never very good on the cruise. That's what I was just saying to Bill. Um, 4.25. We saw cats. They're very nimble, just like cats. Yep. Did you like it? Yeah. It was cats. It was as good as cats can be. There we go. On a scale of one to cats, I'm going to give it four and a half ship horns. On a scale of one to Hamilton, I'm going to give it two and a half ship horns. Sorry, I don't like cats. No offense to the dancers and the singers, they were really, really good. The breakfast was very good at Johnny Rockets. Um, dinner was good. I had the white fish, which was better than I thought it was going to be. What, what did you say it was? It was my mind, yeah. It was very good. Um, the shrimp cocktail for appetizer was okay. Um, Caesar salad wasn't that good. The, um, the, the dressing was kind of tasteless. But overall, probably four out of five ship horns for dinner. What do you think of cats? Um, I didn't fall asleep, so that was good. Yeah, that's good. Cool. And you stayed for the whole thing. And I stayed for the whole thing. Yeah, I'm like some of the um, But the, people. they're very talented and, and all that, but I just didn't really follow along. Genre. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Yes, the beach is very nice. Perfect weather. Um, we're getting the conch fritters and the conch chowder. Good choice, good choice. And a local beer. Like your breakfast? Yes, breakfast was good at Johnny Rock. Hi. 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 So tell us about your dinner. Last night I had Caesar salad and chicken fried, chicken. fried chicken. I didn't really like the chicken. It was a little dry. So I'd give it four <clears throat> ship horns. Because the mashed potatoes are really good. Cats? cats, I liked it a lot. It was the, very interactive. Yes. She got all of it. <laughs> it was I didn't really get it, but the people were very talented. Perfect day, Coco K. Tonight, we're the cast of Cats, and this is Broadway Cabaret. 